Hello and welcome to Web Dementors YouTube channel and you're watching the seventh video of the programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see on how to write the first program in Java. So this video is going to have a lot of content and uh, we'll be creating the first Java program file and uh, compile it using the command prompt and uh, execute it, get an output from the program. So we have a couple more steps included in this video where you're going to create a shortcut for the notepad with the administration rights and also how to access the command line prompt with the administration rights. So you need the administration rights to delete, edit or create a Java file or a Java program file inside the JDK bin folder. So that's where we are going to put our Java program file. So in order to do that, you need your notepad and command line prompt to have the administration rights. So let's get into it. I'm first going to create a shortcut for my notepad with administration rights. So I'm going to browse into my Windows driver, go into Windows folder and search for my notepad.exe. Here it is. I'm going to press OK and go for next. And here I'm going to change the name as notepad as admin. Finish it. Right now the shortcut for the notepad is created. I have to give administration rights for it. So I'm going to go into properties, go into advanced and press the run as administration line. So press OK and apply and now your notepad is ready with the administration rights. So whenever you click it, you can open the notepad with administration rights. Of course you have to give uh, yes for account, user account control prompt where it's going to ask for your permission to give the administration rights to the notepad. The next thing is accessing the command prompt with the administration rights. So in order to do that in 8.1 or 8 windows, uh, you can press the windows key and X key and uh, you can see that the command prompt with admin rights is available as an option in the menu. Or if you go into the search, you can press CMD where you can see that the command prompt is there. You can right click on it and you can see that the run as administrator permission is there. So if you are a Linux or a Mac user, you can use your normal text editor, uh, which can take place of the notepad in Windows. And uh, for the CMD, you can use the terminal that is available for you in the Mac or the Linux versions. So right now, I'm going to create a Java file. So I'm going to open my notepad with the administration rights. I'm first going to import some basic package of Java. So this is going to import all those input-output uh, in package that is needed for Java to actually get some input and also give some output. So first I'm going to create a class and I'm going to give the name of the class as hello world. Please note the name of the class. We'll be needing that when we're creating the file with the file name of the class. So you have to create the file name to be the same or identical as the class name that you're creating. So now I'm going to create the main function public static void main with the parameter string args which is also an array and close the tags. I'm just using the tab for the indents you can also do that so that it looks a little bit decent because you need the structure of the program to be more good so that it'd be easy for you to understand. So I'm going to print out something using the system.out.println. So print ln states the print line so it's going to print something that you've given inside. It's going to be a string or a sequence of the character. I'm going to print the hello world and question mark. So what the print ln does is that it's going to print the hello world text, the string, and then go to the next line. So if you are using the print, it's still going to print hello world, but it's not going to go to the next line. So if you're using system.out.print, Hello, the dev mentors, subscribers, and viewers. You're going to get uh, the output as if like hello world. And after this text has been completed, this line will be starting right after this exclamation mark. So if you're using Ellen, what it's going to do is that it's going to print this hello world, three exclamation marks, and go to the next line and print the hello web dementor subscribers and viewers. So that's the end of this uh, program. 
So we're going to save it inside the Java JDK 1.8.025. So I'm going to go into my Windows driver, go into program files, search for Java, go into 1.8.025, and then go into bin. I'm going to save it with the same name I have given for my class. So I'm going to save it as hello world.java. So I'm going to save it. So only because of the reason that we have given the administrator rights, we can save that file in that place. If we have not given that rights, then you cannot save it and you're going to get an error that access denied for that folder and you cannot save it. So now I'm going into the command line prompt using the Windows key and uh, the X key. There will be a menu and you can see that the command prompt with administrator rights option is there. So I'm going to press it. I'm going to press yes for the user account control alert. So now I'm going to the folder where my program is there. So I'm going to go into program files. So you can write the first four letters and the star in order to get to that folder. CD space Java, CD space JDK 1.8 star and CD space bin. So now I'm in the folder where my program is. So I'm going to compile it. First we have to compile it using the keyword Java C that is Java compile space the name of the file hello world dot Java. So I'm going to compile it and it has completed the compilation without any errors. So if you have any errors it will be shown in the command prompt window itself. So but now I'm not having any kind of errors so I'm going to execute it. Java space hello world. So please note that I'm not using the extension of dot Java file. So all you have to do is that type Java space the hello world class name. That's it. So I'm going to press the enter and you can see that the output is given hello world and after that there is an hello web mentor subscribers and viewers. So I'm going to change the line. So I'm going to remove this ln and save it and I'm going to run it again after compiling it and right now you can see that it's printing it on the same line. That's the reason why we are printing with the print ln. So it prints, it goes to the next line after completing the printing of this one. So that's the end of this video. We have covered a lot of basic stuff uh, to write a program in Java and also to compile it and execute it. So in the next video we'll be seeing about variables in Java. There's a lot of variables that you can use in Java. So if you find this video useful, please like the video and also share it with your friends. If you have any kind of comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it and you can share that in the comment section of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.